What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video and today we're gonna be playing Oceanhorn for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Oceanhorn. Alright guys, so I know that this one has been out for iOS and Android and mobile phones and tablets and all that business forever now, but it's finally come to the Switch and it looks like it's been updated quite a bit. We finally have physical controls, which is awesome. You can play this thing in handheld mode, you can play it on the TV, you can play it on the train, you can play it in a plane, you can play it on a beanstalk, you can play it on a tree stalk. I don't know what that is, but um, we're gonna jump into it right away. I have not touched it yet, so this is gonna be a full experience for the first time with you guys. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I think that Ocean Horden is an awesome series. It, it's very similar to or it's very much inspired from the Legend of Zelda series, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard of by now, especially if you watch this channel. So um, I'm excited to jump into it, honestly. Like, it's, it's got this old school feel to it. I've played like a little bit. Ugh. It's my delivery. I'm in New York, by the way. That's that's all we do is delivery here. I'm not coming back, kid. My fate is tied to a monster. <sighs> I'm back. Sorry about that. I seriously did not plan for that to happen at all. Okay, uh, what I miss? Let's see. Okay, I guess that's his dad. It is coming for me again. He's an extremely charming voice. I mean, don't get me wrong, but that guy's voice is super deep. Okay. Whatever. Kind of like Markiplier, actually. I'm not going to lose you like I lost your mother. This necklace is the last thing left of Necklace. Me. Keep it close and guard it well. Always a necklace. I'll give you my old and a notebook. It's always a necklace and a notebook in these action RPG adventure games. Like, go you find the lost piece of jewelry coming. that is enchanted with the power to you. save the world from this all evil. It's okay, I mean, I'm down for it. I like it. I've been doing it all my life. Obviously, the Zelda series has started a great thing, and I think that the developers of Oceanhorn definitely appreciate it. Wake up. Wake up. The time, the time has, has come. come. All right, let's do it. And there it is, Oceanhorn running in marvelous 1080p resolution. Seriously, it's beautiful. It is very, very, very nice. It's a lot nicer than on, on the tiny phone screen that you might play it on or tablet very wind wakery too there's no doubt about that i mean even his like tunic is blue which kind of looks like the breath of the wild tunic it's kind of cool all right look at that necklace that pendanty necklace floating around man it's been so long since i've actually like played ocean horn so i really have no idea what i'm doing here and the furthest i got when i played ocean horn on um on ios i played it on my phone on my iphone was basically just this starting island, so, and it's been a while. So let's see, let's see what we can explore and what's new with the Switch version. I'm playing with the Pro Controllers, so, okay, so there is actual some sort of camera control, which is actually kind of cool. View controls, move character. They're showing a grip, even though I'm using a Pro Controller, which means that it's not really optimized to show the controller that you're using, which is kind of unfortunate, you know? Like, Oceanhorn is... I respect this game quite a bit. I'm kind of surprised that they wouldn't have optimized it for that, but I'm sure that they'll update it later. So there wasn't a jump button there before, and there isn't one now. Um, but, okay, there's a dash. That's kind of cool. Like, stamina it uses the stamina. I don't remember that from the iOS version of Oceanhorn, so I'm not sure if that's new or not, but that's definitely cool. And then there's signs here. So, I don't know. If, you, if you've never played Oceanhorn before... Before... Oceanhorn before. If you've never played Oceanhorn before, the mini map may reveal secrets, as it tells you. Um, no, it's very much like the Zelda series. It's kind of an action RPG. You explore it, um, you explore the game, you find secrets, you go cave diving and sort of throw pots and talk to old guys that asked you if you slept well and uh, if you still had the same nightmare over and over again. If And if uh, your father often visited this island, on his travels when he was younger. That went nowhere. I'm sorry, that joke just <laughs> died. Okay, we're going inside of the house to see what is going on in here. There's a chest. I like chests. You need a master key. A master key, really? That sounds kind of familiar. I've, I've heard of this term before, master key. Uh, it's, it seems like a popular term in video games. Wonder who started it. I am playing a Nintendo console, FYI. 
I just like to throw pots too. I, I don't know why I like to throw pots. Like every single pot. I'm hoping that there's something in there. I haven't found anything in any of these pots. Which is a huge bummer. Kind of disappointing. At least in Zelda, they had stuff in the pots. Maybe if I throw it at this guy's face, something will come out of the pot. Nope, didn't work. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's keep traversing the island, seeing what there is. By the way, I haven't felt any rumble yet. Like I'm sw swinging and hitting stuff. And I'm kind of disappointed in that because I don't think that there's rumble in this game. And I don't understand why that wouldn't just be turned on by default. Okay, those are just the controls. What am I confirming? So the only option is to change the sailing camera. That's cool. Language. Yeah, no rumble in Oceanhorn. I don't I don't know what they were thinking with that. That's kind of unfortunate. Would have been nice to take advantage of, uh, you know, the Switch's HD rumble, let alone just have some sort of rumble. But whatever. Maybe it's coming in a future update. There's always hope. Definitely no rumble because I'm hitting these enemies and nothing is happening. It's a little, it's a little anticlimactic to play a game in 2017 and not have some sort of like tactile feedback when you're like fighting. I mean, it, we live in an era with virtual reality and I'm playing a game and I'm hitting stuff and I don't feel the feedback. I need that feedback. <laughs> like, I'm such a, it's like a first world gamer problem. Like, there's no rumble in this game. This game sucks. I'm just kidding. The game's totally fine, playable without rumble. Um, but a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. So let's keep going, let's keep moving. Seeing what is going on here. I've always had trouble, like, finding my way in Oceanhorn. I always felt like it wasn't as explanatory to, to sort of guide you along the path like most games are. This is a checkpoint from the Arcadian era. You will magically blah blah blah. Checkpoints can be blahed. Remember to blah 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 them. Don't worry. If you've never played a video game before, I'll explain to you how checkpoints work. Thanks for playing a video game for the first time ever in your life. <laughs> Throw objects while carrying pots. Okay. This is new to me. This is a new concept as well. Ooh, it worked. Something actually, I don't know if it came out of the pot or if it came out of the enemy, but I got some coins for that. Some diamonds. Some diamonds and some coins. I think, if I remember from the iOS version, there was like a, yeah. There was a, just a quest just to use your secret sword, secret sword thing. Your sword move. This spin thing that they ripped right out of Zelda. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so there's another chest there, but there's no way to jump, so that's not gonna happen. There's probably a smarter path. A smarter way to get around. We shall find it. The butterflies. Oh, the butterflies in this game sure are pretty. There's a little beach. It's cool, like the art style is definitely neat. It's it's almost, like it's definitely squarey. you guys can see that. And that, for some reason, gives me like a little bit of a Minecraft vibe, but this game has way more pixels in it or details in it than Minecraft does, I would say. Um, or the art style is completely different, but it does have that sort of like, I just made this in a level creator type of feeling. Like this game was clearly developed in Unity um, in a base level editor, uh, or at least I'm assuming, but um, they did a great job. I mean, I know it's a good game. I just never had like sort of the patience to play through it on my phone. Push objects with the A button. There's a switch there. A switch. Push it. Ah. Going through. Yes. First secret solved. Nailed it. Done. Drop the drop the controller right there. It's over. Okay, what's in here? Something worthwhile. What is it? A regular key. I need that master key though. We're looking for a master key. Cuz the master key is what's going to get us in that big chest in that guy's house that I probably have no business sort of exploring, but we're going to we're going to see if I can get it. Can I break that? All right, there it is. Nothing over here. I guess we're leaving the cave? Or maybe there was a door. Is there a door here? That was a door. Okay, cool. Use the key. Another switch. Good to go. Don't stub your toe on those giant spikes, Mr. Oceanhorn. Mr. Oceanhorn, kid. There's another heart. Okay, good. We're good. We're surviving. This game so far hasn't been that difficult, but again, we're on the tutorial island, sort of getting ready, diving deeper into the game as we play through it. And it's good. I mean, it's it's so far, it's, it's very much like how I remember it, except I'm playing with a controller, which is way more convenient. 
Um, but essentially, if what it seems like is if you've played Oceanhorn before on iOS or on Android or on whatever uh, it's available on <laughs> these days, which seems like pretty much everything, then you're getting essentially the same game except on one of the coolest consoles ever, which is a Nintendo Switch. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, especially if you want more like Zelda in your life. So that's the reset button. That's not going to get me anywhere. I need to get that other switch. All right, so you can pick many kinds of things up. You can pick up many kinds of things. Like what? Ooh. That's the pendant. That's totally the pendant. I wonder if I can... Will that work for that? This game just got very interesting because this is something I do not remember from the iOS version. It did work. It's holding that switch down. Okay, cool. So maybe I can get that pendant through. To and through with the pendant. Got it. Got mother's pendant. What else is in here? Give me a sword. Give me a real weapon. Yes. And a shield. Yes. I have it. I feel like a master warrior now. Like a master warrior. Yes. That's what I just said to you guys. That's how cool I am. And I leveled up, sweet. What? Wait, you can do stuff when you level up too, huh? You are a traveler, you got your health refilled and 10 coins. So wait, then there's no stats or anything like that, but there's money. What's smart guy? What's that smart guy thing? Oh, read at least 10 signs, it tells you right there. Okay, play time 11 minutes, completed 1%. I'm 11 minutes in and I've completed 1%. So either I am very slow and terrible at this game, or it seems like there's actually quite a lot of stuff to do here. So let's -a keep -a going. <laughs> Just take, go ahead and take your time down those steps, Mr. Oceanhorn boy. Let's see how this, uh, this thing works. Here it's kind of sharp. It's not working. There's a guard button. That bat totally just did not want anything to do with me. He's like, see you later, that guy's got a sword. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling that was a mistake. I probably could have used that, huh? Or maybe not, maybe that was fine. Anything good in here? Money, it's always with the monies. So now that I have the pendant, I guess... Is there something that I can do? Is there something that I can do? A place that I can go. A place that I do not know. Let's see. Maybe down here. We traverse up the steps. Wait, did I read that sign? I don't know why I want to read that sign all of a sudden. Yeah, I did read that sign. Okay. Going back. Backtracking. Oh, he's waiting for me here. Things have changed. You found Father Sword and Shield. How did you get your hands on them? Uh, you were supposed to have them later. What? Your mother's necklace started to glow. How could I be so stupid? This guy's talking really weird. This is one of the symbols of ancient Arcadia. Follow me. I have a story to tell you. We're going. Okay, just go ahead and skip right through that little cutscene there, because that was forever. But it was very lore heavy and interesting, so you don't know what's going on and you do want to play this game, then don't skip that cutscene because there's a lot of good stuff going on there. Go to your lookout now, kid, but come back to me in the morning. All right, he's going. We're going to the lookout. Wait, can I get something from here yet? No, no master ch no master key chest yet. Master chest key. Mr. Me chest key. Son, son, cliff. Okay. Back to the beginning. It's nighttime now. So things look a little different. There's like more enemies out. Which is, you know, pretty common in video games. Lots of bad bad things come out at night to try and fight you. <laughs> a la Dying Light. Any fans of that game? Pick up a jar with the A button. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm just backtracking at this point. It's all just backtracking. That's okay. Confirm, yes. Go to bed. Go to bed. Ooh, more cutscenes. That guy looks creepy. But I like his boat. I seriously had no idea that Ocean Horn was so steampunky. It's pretty steampunky. Pirate punk? Pirate steampunk? Steam pirate punk? The next morning. 
Let's see what happens. Where do we go now? Okay, so... tra la 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 Wow, okay, those enemies look way different. That guy looks like he's got a lot more health, too. It's like they've possessed the island. They've overtaken it. Ooh, be gone, you devils. Be gone, you devils! Said the old man. They definitely do look like devils. Thank you, kid! The necklace must have attracted these dark creatures just as your father feared. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Your destiny is tied to Oceanhorn, just like your father's. It is not... It is no use to hide any longer. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Ocean Horn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Auru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. It's like a deserty most area, a typical desert area in most video games. Wise and fearless birds. The enemy looks pretty cool though. Look at that like goblin thing. The emblem of ocean. The emblem of the ocean. So this is the game. It's it's telling us what the whole game is. Like this is it, guys. This is what Oceanhorn is. It looks like there's a lot of areas to explore and quite a lot of things to do in this game. So if you're a fan of the Legend of Zelda series or action RPGs or just adventure games in general, then Oceanhorn might actually be something that you might consider picking up, especially if you have a Switch and you never picked up the iOS or Android versions of the game too. So let me know what you guys think about Oceanhorn. Let me know if you're thinking about picking it up for your Switch. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.